Welcome to Happy Crappy Paints, second part of this mini series. Today, uh, uh, painting Conan. So that's the end result there after we're done. Start off with a white uh, color primer for Conan. Make sure when you prime uh, the mini, uh, like with all minis, to not uh, try to overspray. As you can see, the details come out really nicely after you put the under. Uh, coat on. Uh, it's very hard to see the detail before you uh, you prime the mini, but it has a lots of really nice looking details. This mini. I chose Kislev Flash for uh, Conan. It's a, a nice lighter skin color that uh, after you add the shade, add, add the flesh shade darkens quite a bit and it uh, comes back nicely uh, when you highlight it uh, uh, after the shade with uh, Kisla Flash again. Um, I like Kisla Flash a lot. Uh, it's the skin color I mostly use for most of my human minis. Took me about uh, an hour and a half of painting time. The footage that I shot the raw footage was an hour and a half long, uh, so with drying time it uh, took me probably about three hours to finish this mini. As you can see, I probably could have cleaned the mini up with a, uh, a knife, taking away some of the mold lines across the shoulders of Conan. I didn't do that. In just of time again. Second uh, coating of Kislev Flash. I watered uh, Kislev Flash uh, a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit. It's a layer paint, so you don't have to water layer paints as much as you might need to do with uh, base paints. Uh, however, um, yeah, adding too much color will, uh, will make you re or require you to um, add more layers because it's not as, uh, the same amount of pigment in a layer paint as in a base paint from Citadel. I chose a Steel Legion Drab for all the leather and fur parts on Conan. If you'd like, you could have different shades of brown. Uh, one of my goals with the Happy Crappy series is to use as few colors as possible. So I only used the one shade of brown for, for all of the fur and all of the leather on Conan. Actually, that is not true. For highlighting, I used uh, tallard sand, like the, the brown that we used on the chests and barrels. Correcting uh, mistakes as I go. Uh, the benefit of painting the mini as quickly as possible is that you have the colors already on your palette, especially if you mix the colors, uh, like I do here for the hair. I use uh, uh, Celestra Grey to lighten up the Abaddon Black into a, a, a dark grey color. Uh, when you're painting black here, uh, make sure that you don't use pure Abad Abaddon Black, especially if you intend to shade shade it with null oil or something later. I didn't do that here so it's a quite a dark black or dark grey uh, that I will later on highlight with a mix with more celestial grey than the base base colour. Lead belcher for the sword.
Also adding lead belcher to the spikes uh, on his uh, armor on his uh, left arm there. The uh, handle of the sword I I also colored in the same brown as the rest. Here I made my uh, a mistake that I correct later in the in the video. Uh, I decided to to try a, a, a bronze color for the sword handle. Uh, it didn't turn out good at all, but I kept the uh, footage in there for continuity reasons uh, to show that uh, I did paint the handle there. I'm gonna paint it over later. Adding a sharp to bone to the teeth that Conan has sprinkled all over him, uh, both in his belt, his armband, and his necklace. I'm going to paint some of these ornaments in silver uh, a little bit later. Change my mind with the bone. Chop the bone is also a color that we are reusing from the chest and barrels video. The belt buckle could probably have been silver or some other white. It could be a an edge on that belt buckle with uh, in silver. If you wish to do that, starting with the flash shade. I added a lot of flash shade because I wanted his skin to be to be really dark in the in uh, showing the contours of his of his skin or uh, quite a bit of contours of his body so I had a lot of flesh shade Agrax Earth Shade f uh, is what I used for shading boots and also his loincloth and the uh, armband or well, the armor on his left arm rather. Nylon oil for the sword to bring a, a weathered look to the sword bring back some shine a little bit later on. Now that the skin have dried, or uh, the flesh shade have dried completely, I'm um, painting the highlights with uh, Kislev Flesh, an un uh, unmixed Kislev Flesh. For the face, I didn't water Kislev Flesh, something I should have done. Uh, I ended up losing some of the details. I made some mistakes on the face and I had to, had to apply a few too many layers to correct the mistakes. You can see that later. And I, I should have used a, a more watered Kislev when uh, highlighting the face. Don't be afraid to highlight uh, uh, to add hi highlights to the larger skin areas. If you uh, think it doesn't look good in the end, uh, you can you can put more shade on. But do remember as you're painting that the paint is going to darken a little bit as it dries. So even though it might look bright when you paint it, it's going to be a little darker as it dries. Tallard sand is what I used for uh, the highlights for the fur, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, uh, could have been a lighter, could also have been using a grey if you want it to be like a wolf's fur that he's used for 
to get his loin cloth or or um, boots. But uh, looking at the cover art and some of the art on in the game, it looked at it was it was a brown fur uh, from a bear or something similar. So I I decided to go with a brown highlight and in the interest of economics, using the same uh, color that we used for barrels and chests. Here I correct the mistake uh, on the sword, adding shop to bone. Um, the war block bronze, so way too dark, and the red metallic did not uh, didn't didn't show really, and just um, just didn't look good. So I switched it out to shop to bone. Here I mixed uh, more gray into the black to add highlights to the hair. eyes always very difficult uh, don't worry if you add too much white uh, y you will need to highlight the face uh, after you had the flesh shade anyway so make sure you paint the whites of the eyes uh, uh, before you go back and highlight the face because you can then correct around, uh, the whites around the eyes but it is difficult to do eyes. For many minis I, I just skip doing eyes completely. It doesn't matter that much. They look good anyway. These uh, adding the irises to the eyes it's more often easier to to make them or paint them as if, if they were cat-like if you will rather than just uh, a dot and then you add the flesh shade like I did there in the eye socket around to to reshape the iris uh, to a round shape, if you will, with flesh shade in the eye sockets. Adding some highlights with uh, rune fang steel to the spikes in the armor, and also some of the jewelry in his belt. I, I painted silver to make it look like metal rings uh, on his boots and his belt, uh, and also the edge of the sword. I, I brought brought a shine up with rune fang steel. That's just basing left. Paint the base black and uh, and then Conan is done. There you go. Finished uh finished Conan. Don't forget to add a matte varnish, like uh, the uh, the ones from Citadel or or s someone else, uh, to make them last the rough treatment it will get on the battlefield. Thanks for watching. <laughs>